Hello everyone, it's Mrs Sugden and today I've come down to the river to tell you a very special story that's to do with sport. This story is called the Frog Olympics. It's a very cool story indeed and to help me tell the story I've got a little froggy friend who's going to come and join in with the story at one part of the story and I thought we could also practice our signing. Um, our first sign we're going to need is frog so we're going to have full C hand. Here we go, by your throat we say frog. And the second sign we're going to need, we're going to have full O hands like this and we're going to link them together and we're going to say Olympics. Very good, we're going to say Frog Olympics. That's exactly right, well done. Here we go, let's start the story. Here we go. The news spread quickly. The word got around from lake and ditch across boggy ground. It was the Frog Olympics. Woohoo! They're so excited. Look at them all. Can you see them? Very excited. To garden ponds and further still, as an audience gathered on the side of a hill for the Frog Olympics. Very good, here we are. Can you see them all gathering? They look like they're gonna have a good time, don't they? Are they very excited? They are, aren't they? Here we go. And frogs of every color and size watched the events with bulging eyes. <gasps> they're so excited. They all look different. Can you see a little red frog? I think there's two little red frogs. Very good. Can you see a frog wearing glasses? The frogs all look very different and they're all saying, yay, it's the Frog Olympics. We can't wait. There were frogs that had swum from across the sea. And they're saying, welcome to the frog. Olympics. Can you see them coming? They're wearing their swimming trunks, they've got their suitcases, and they cannot wait. <gasps> there were tree frogs peeping from every tree at the Frog Olympics. Can you see these cheeky frogs? They've got red eyes and they've got red toes that help them hold on to the branches. What clever frogs they are. <gasps> there were medals for tongues that could catch the most flies. Have you got flies buzzing around your house sometimes? Here they are buzzing around the frogs and the frogs eat them. Would you like to eat a fly? No, thank you. I don't think I'd like to. And the frog that hopped away with first prize was an elderly frog whose tongue, when uncurled, could stretch halfway round the world. Oh, wow, at the Frog Olympics. Can you see how long his tongue is? It goes on and on and on. I'm not surprised he can catch lots and lots of flies with a tongue like that. Wow. There were medals for winning the three-legged frog and for jumping in and out of a bog. A bog is a big muddy place. Would you like to do the three-legged frog event or would you like to do the jumping in and out of the mud event? I think I'd quite like jumping in and out of the mud. That would be super cool. There was leapfrogging, streams from bank to bank, so from here all the way to over there. You'd have to be good at jumping, wouldn't you? Can you see them jumping? From here to there. Gosh, they're good jumpers. Look at that. Very springy legs and a skillful pole vault. Now, pole vault, I'm gonna show you. 
for a pole vault you need a very very long pole and you need a very brave little frog who's going to hold on to the pole here he comes he's going to run he's going to put the pole in the ground and then wee see how far he can jump and this happened at the frog olympics we'll see at the end whether he won a prize shall we can you see him jumping over that's so clever well done frog oh, then to celebrate the end of the games a torch was lit and they followed the flames can you see them following can you see the torch and can you see those two cute blue frogs? They're just lovely, aren't they? So where are they going to? Let's find out. <gasps> to a stream where the final event took place, the fast and furious tadpole race. Oh, wow. At the Frog Olympics. Can you see the tadpoles swimming very fast? Tadpoles? are tiny baby frogs, aren't they? Tadpoles grow into frogs. Can you see which one is going to win? Yeah, he's swimming so fast. That's amazing. And oh, those leaps were fantastic from frogs that must have had legs of elastic. Can you see them leaping and jumping? Pew, pew, pew. They're jumping higher and higher. While well, everyone agreed that one day soon, you might see a frog jump over the moon. So the frogs think if they keep practicing, they are going to be able to jump over the moon. Can you see the stars and the moon and the jumping frogs? Frogs, I'm not sure you're going to be able to jump over the moon. Well, the frogs say, well, a cow did once, or so they say. So frogs keep practicing every day. And that is the end of our story. Now let's have a little look. Did the frog win the prize? Should we have a little look? He did. He's so happy. Look, he won a prize for being so good at the pole vault. I'll see you soon everyone. Bye for now.